After being treated well by Sanji, Gin brings his captain, the ruthless Don Krieg, who's also extremely hungry. If Gin's nice, his captain is also probably Fight! One Piece in a nutshell is Blue Saga Part 2. Part 1 is in the description. I'm here to challenge your dojo! Send someone out here! Young Zoro was him from the get go. He wanted all that smoke. Hold up! You mean you're not gonna fight me yourself, old man? The master was like, I guess, but actually no. And sends his daughter instead to fight. Come on, man. You look Bill? goofy. You stupid. Luckily, our little man got some heart and went through a whole year of training to finally get a victory. Koina with 2,000 total wins and zero losses. Huh? 2,000 to zero? I think I would have rich quitted after like the 50th defeat or something. Zoro isn't weak at all. He's one of the strongest out of all the guys. How did he become better than all of y'all? <laughs> He's nowhere as strong as me. You losers would do good to remember that and keep quiet. Your howling makes you look even more pitiful than you already are. Hold me back, man! I'm gonna get this man! I'm gonna fuck him up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold me back a little bit! Hold me back! You lucky to hold me back, dude! Oh, man! Female swordsmen are faced with immense walls. As she is now, I cannot trust the inheritance of this dojo to her. But that has been listening to some Andrew Tate, I see. You're lucky, Zoro. Being born as a man. Damn. Can't relate. But seriously, it's pretty sad for her. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter to Zoro as he's determined to be anyone on his way to Kurina. Men, women, black, black. Hey yo, what the f I can't wait to see what they both become. Zoro? Zoro then vows to fulfill their dream, took her sword as his third one, and after years of training, finally decided to set sail. On to the next island. Now you guys think that you can kill my partner? Who the fuck is that guy? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Those guys' name are Johnny and Yosuke, and they're both pirate hunters who worked before with Zoro. Realizing they need a cook, they head to the Barati, a ship restaurant to recruit the next member. He definitely won't be important later on. Wink, wink. Waiter, hey, get over here. Oh, wow, an arrogant marine member. How original. What's this bug doing there, waiter? Can't you see that you're biting off more than you can chew? He just pushed the Sanji button or what? Don't ever waste food around me again. I'm sorry, Lieutenant! They just keep on coming, huh? But might I be so bold to inquire how you're paying for your meal? Will a bullet be enough? Now that you've drawn your pistol, are you willing to use it? I'm saying that guns aren't for threats, they're for actions. Make your actions have consequences! To me, if anyone's hungry, they're a customer. Damn, I know his belly must have been having the time of his life. After being treated well by Sanji, Gin brings his captain, the ruthless Don Krieg, who's also extremely hungry. If Gin's nice, his captain is also probably- Psych! <laughs> hundred men left on board my ship. If you value your lives, you will prepare food and water for every last one of them. Who do that after what happened? This is about a hundred men. Now take it to your men right away. Well, I think it's time for another flashback. Well, I'm gonna find the all blue, then we'll see who's dreaming. All blue is supposed to be this mythical sea where every marine species lives in harmony. You think a miracle sea like the all blue could actually exist? Think about it, kid. It's impossible. Man, this show got too many haters. Crazy. Zeph and Sanji met when the famous pirate attacked the cruise ship he worked in as a kid. During the attack, a big storm destroyed both ship and took Sanji in the water. But the famous pirate decided to save him when he realized the kid had the same dreamer mentality as he had. It seems we're the only survivors. Only two survivors? I mean, it's better than having a volleyball as a friend, right? Get to the other side of this rock and watch for ships. Let me know as soon as you see one. Easy! I'll make it through this thing! No problem! Many months later... <laughs> Sanji really thinks he's slick taking this old man through. Wait a minute! Strange, isn't it? We have all this money and yet we're going to starve. It's only treasure. It's worthless. This quote hits hard, not gonna lie. 
After sharing his dream of building a restaurant on the sea for starving pirates to Sanji, the ship finally came and saved them from their hunger. Back to the story. This is good, right? Yeah. But do they have any gluten-free option? Because my belly can't. Any other stupid questions? God, the ship has been broken to splinters! Over there, it's that man! Wait, that thing? Came back. That's the type of soundtracks you only give to crazy powerful characters. Okay, it's over third fight. Please be different from the last one. Oh my god. Okay, by different, I didn't mean disrespectful. Oh boy. Does Zoro ever get a win without almost dying? I solemnly swear from this moment forward that I will never lose again until the day comes when I defeat him and take his title. Man, that speech really hits differently in Zoro's promise to Luffy. <sighs> Top tier shonen moment right there. You know Lamy left with the ship, right? Huh? Hey, it's me, Goku! Thanks, but I'm not afraid of any Krieg pirate. Luffy is literally the embodiment of that don't care emoji. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. He's going to use the MH5! Poison gas? Could you imagine if his armor malfunctioned and the poison bomb just exploded on him? Thank you. Hey, Keen, are you okay? I'm fine! <laughs> totally fine! Even though I didn't understand Gin at all times, this man will have been a real one from start to finish. RIPs in the chat. Paying for a plate of food with your life. Maybe you'll learn when you're dead. <laughs> Those villains love to give us a reason to hate them, huh? Finish him, Luffy. <laughs> Finally, Sanji decides to leave with Luffy so that they can both realize their dreams in a set off able to make any grown man cry. You might be wondering where did that irrelevant girl go with the going Mary and where's the rest of the crew? Well, if you want to know, you gotta find out on the next episode of One Piece in a Nutshell. My shoes.